Okay, good day guys. Just want to do a quick video on this uh, car. This is a uh, Nissan uh, MP200 2015 1.6 uh, K7M, I think. Um, I was doing the valve timing on this one. I've already fitted it. It's quite a bit tricky. So um, I'm just going to run through the timing marks here. There's not a lot of information on there. So first of all, cam timing. You're going to have a uh, little mark there. And my mark doesn't seem to show. But there's a little triangle sitting right there that lines up with this part here. Uh, let me just see, I think, I, uh, let's get another angle here. So, uh, okay, let me just rotate that, I think I got it at uh, Fire 4 Rock 1, just a moment. Okay, so I had it uh, mixed up the wrong way, but either way you've got a little arrow there, that lines up with that uh, top piece over there. Then uh, at the bottom of the crankshaft, you will have the uh, marker here, and I've already put this uh, bolt on there, which you don't need to take it off now. You should have a marking here somewhere, but as you guys can see, there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. And just a little, you see that just there, it's a little line. It's very hard to see because it's a little bit rusted, but uh, you can see it right there in the center, right there. And you should have a marking, but as you guys can see, there's nothing there. So uh, we have to set this the old fashioned way. Um, now, let me just zoom out here so you guys can get dizzy. Now, in the olden days, <sighs> olden days, what am I saying? Uh, the proper way is you'll see there's a little bolt here where you insert a. I just wanna get my hand in there. Where you insert a timing tool in there. But however, um, I tried to build no avail to get that done, so I do the old fashioned way. So set up, engine supported, spark plugs removed for low compression, and I just used a uh, beam to get cylinder 4 on TDC, right there, and then uh, I check this here before I took the belt off. So uh, basically this arrow lines up with the center there, and then crank timing at the bottom here. Uh, but So basically the center point with a marking straight down. Um, I don't know how to explain this because there's not a lot of information on this. Uh, it's difficult to say because this is kind of where the skill comes in. But this is a trend that's coming with all the new cars. Uh, they're getting harder and harder to work on. There's no timing marks, there's no ignition markings, nothing like that on the vehicle. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, Straightforward, like oh, and the yes, and then the tensioner sitting over there. We've got our new tension on there. This one looks like this. So basically, you would uh, focus the camera. Here we go. So the uh, back side looks like this, front side looks like that. You've got a T, this is a T, T40, yeah, it's a T40, I think, that goes in there. So you basically fasten this with a 13. Uh, T4 in there, and then you just basically sit with the with the tool like that the the tension while the belt's on, and then you would just tighten it back down there with the 13, um, and then obviously rotate the engine twice to check for valve clearance. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I've already done it, so I know it's right. You don't even need to take the wheel off. This is actually a relatively easy position to get into, but just going to do a full rotation on that. That's one revolution, and round about, let's so see, there, round about there, somewhere there, a bit more, round about there, check my cam timing, uh, it's a bit difficult in positioning, so I went a little bit past, but uh, that's good, and then we check our tension on the tensioner, which will be, see that little slot there, needs to line up around about there. And uh, as you can see, ours lines up, go due to the angle of the camera, it's a little bit off, but uh, it's around about, around about there. It's quite a, quite a difficult one to do, so uh, might need extra hand, but uh, yeah. That's long and the short of it, hope this helps. Uh, Cool, I'm going to assemble this, get it back, and get the vehicle back to the client.